The next test is called sauna the buttock test. With this test, you're checking for tightness of the one and two joint hip extensors. With the test, you passively flex the hip with the leg straight. So you're almost doing a straight leg raise to start and check if the patient has limitation. If the patient's limited in their motion, we then flex the knee. This is the second part of the test. With the flex knee, we would expect to have increased hip flexion because we're putting the hamstrings on slack. And in this case, it's, that happens. A positive test, positive sign of the buttock test, will flex the knee and she'll still be limited in hip flexion. Even though the knee's flexed, we still have very limited increased hip flexion. She'll be limited. That could be due to a buttock, a buttock pathology, which could be uh, abscess, bursitis, or tightness of the gluteus maximus. It could also be tightness of the posterior capsule. So check in for the end feel. Is it a muscular end feel? Does the patient have discomfort or is it more of a capsular end feel if she's limited? So again, sign of the buttocks test, straight leg first, straight leg raise, limited range of motion into hip flexion. We flex the hip. If it doesn't go up significantly, increased hip flexion. It's a positive test for potential pathology.